So in one of my older videos about entropy and gravity, I talked about how it's better to think of entropy increasing as energy being more spread out into the universe instead of disorder increasing in the universe because in some cases it kind of doesn't make sense. And then someone asked me if it's really about spreading as much energy and matter out into the universe, then how come we have structures like planets and black holes form where you'd expect that the matter would want to be spread out but when you have planets and black holes all the matter and energy it's concentrated into like tiny parts and the answer to this is pretty simple so if you haven't watched that video about the definition of entropy increasing as energy being more spread out it's just one minute long literally it's one minute long and you won't be disappointed by the visuals so once you finish that video head on back here and let's take it a step further. You know, what about planets? What about black holes? So whenever you have matter, there's that attraction due to the gravitational force, making them want to become closer together because they have mass. So what happens is when they're far apart, there's this value of gravitational potential energy. And because of that attraction, as they come nearer, their gravitational potential energy actually decreases. And during that time, as you all know, the total amount of energy in a system has to be constant always. And for the energy, the total energy to be constant, what new form of energy is the gravitational pot potential energy being transformed into? And that is the kinetic energy. So the closer they are, the closer they come together, the faster they actually move. And the faster they move, the likelier it is that when they do hit each other, the two particles, they would cause friction, you know, they would slide on top of each other and that friction is actually heat. And that heat, it dissipates out into the universe. So the, def the description of energy being more spread out with entropy increasing is actually consistent. And we can actually take a step further with this, we can think of black holes. So you imagine that, okay, so you have a black hole with a lot of mass in it. What makes matter being eaten by the black hole entropically favorable? So how is that increasing entropy? How is that increasing the, or, or how is that rather spreading energy out into the universe? But here's a really cool thing. In the universe, there's this process where matter and antimatter, they form out of nowhere. But it only happens for a really, really short time, so it's physically possible that it actually occurs. So so this is happening all the time, everywhere. So matter and antimatter just popping out out of nowhere and then annihilating each other at the same time because that's a, reg that's a regular or basic property of matter and antimatter pairs that they always annihilate each other. So what happens is at, at the border where the black hole starts pulling stuff in and starts leaving some stuff out, those that process where the matter and antimatter forms, they could occur at that border. So what happens is that at that border of the black hole, you have that pair of particles and one of them gets sucked into the black hole and one of them is free to roam around out into the universe. But the thing is, the law of conservation of matter and energy still holds. So there's that particle coming out of nowhere at that border in the black hole it's out into the universe, so where does that energy, where does that matter come from? It comes from the black hole itself. So this process is how energy is being more spread out into the universe in the case of a black hole. And the thing I said earlier about how the bigger a black hole is, the more matter there is, the larger its surface area. And this surface area actually affects the energy that comes out of that border. The heavier a black hole is, the more matter that's being eaten by this black hole. Counterintuitively, the more matter is also being spread out. The more energy is being spread out into the universe. And I think that's really cool. 